The Knights go to 13 and 5 and 3 and 1 in conference. USA play and head coach Donnie Jones uh, joins us. If I told you before the game, Keith Clanton will not score a field goal, what would you have thought? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would probably be very down right now because I would have thought we'd be on the other side of the score. But, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, obviously, Keith had a tough night tonight, but, uh, you know, he made some good plays in there. He still had 10 rebounds, which was important. But, uh, but I was really proud of us grinding it out. This Rice team is very tough and gritty, and I, I knew it wasn't going to be an easy game. I know they've they've had some uh, some tough losses, but uh, this is a dangerous team with the way they can shoot the ball. On a night that Keith struggled, not the other players had no choice but to raise their game, and I know there's a lot of guys you have to be proud of. We now start to see a little bit of consistency out of Calvin. He played maybe his best all around game, maybe last week his best half. But tonight, Calvin, I thought, gave you really good minutes, 24 points, and he took smart shots. That's what you said. The outside shot's going to come, do the other things. But tonight, the outside shot was there. Yeah, absolutely. And that was a lot because of extra pass. And he took the step into the line, knocked down your shot. And uh, he only took one bad shot in the game, and that was right before the half there. He took a quick one uh, with still time on the clock. But other than that, I thought Calvin played a good game. And, you know, Isaiah Sykes, you know, come in and uh, really shot the ball uh, very well from the line. I thought, you know, getting to the free throw lines, what I talked about at halftime we got to go out and stop firing up three-point shots we got to get offensive rebounds we got to try to post people up try to go inside and and then you know I posted Sykes up trying to poach Casey up because that was the mismatch size wise and you know just wasn't going to be Keith's night where he was going to be able to get much there uh, your basketball team plays well at moments I know you you know have some concern about some of those lulls you built the lead up to 12 and the next thing you know Rice gets right back in the basketball game What's happening there, and then what is your team doing well to stretch it back up again? Yeah, well, I think that I wish I knew. I wish I had that answer. <laughs> uh, you know, we want to get stops, but it seems like uh, they either get a drive to the basket, or you know, you got to get stops and you got to get build. You got to build on your lead, and we just don't get stops. We keep trading baskets, and uh, for you to be able to separate yourself, you got to be able to do that, Mark. And we haven't been able to do that, and I think that that's a thing that that we got to continue to work at because on the road, that's very hard to come back from sometimes. Uh, Tristan Spurlock at 14 points, 12 rebounds. As you and I talk, I mean, athletically, he can get eight, nine rebounds a game. He had a couple of nice plays inside, keeping possessions alive. Uh, took a, a, a smart three when it was there. And again, 14 and 12, you'll take that from Tristan every night. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I told Tristan at halftime, I just said, hey, you know what? If you get open threes, take them. If not, you got to get in there. You're six foot seven, six foot eight. You're the best athlete on the floor. You got to get out there and make things happen and do different things. And, uh, and I think that uh, he did a good job at that. And, and you know what? He didn't lay balls in, he dunked balls. And I think that's important for him uh, to be able to do. You talk about unselfish play and the extra pass. Uh, a couple of possessions stand down. I'm going to ask you about one. Matt Williams has a drive, and Matt has a chance at a shot, and then he knew the extra pass was a better play to Calvin. That's a freshman understanding the things that you guys are preaching. It's okay to make that extra pass because likely it's a better shot. Yeah, and he, you know what? He took coaching. You know, he took a long three that was a hard shot that he made. So he thought, well, you know what? Let me come down and get another one. After one pass, he bombed a one out of his range there, I felt. You know, I pulled him over the side and just said, hey, you know, let it come to you. You can take all the open shots all day long, but you don't got to come down and take those tough shots make the extra and you know what he did that the next time down to get Calvin a wide open three. Donnie 27 of 35 with a free throw line in the second half 21 of 26 81 percent I know you like that. I mean, I mean, I know you have to be happy with the free throw shooting. Yeah, I am. And you know what? Uh, you know, everybody always asks you, what do you do with your free throw shooting, how you work on it? You know, it's just a mentality of stepping in there and make it. We shoot free throws. And, uh, you know, Isaiah Sykes is, is a guy that's going to be there in the end. And he's going to have to make free throws for us to win because uh, we're counting on him to do that because uh, he's a playmaker for us, as you can see. You know, tonight he had 24 points as well and made big free throws. And we posted him up there, and he made some big plays down the stretch. Uh, quick turnaround. A couple of days before SMU comes here, a conference game. Your team's now 3-1, and one, uh, and every win is important. Every home game is important. A quick uh, look ahead. Yeah, SMU, you know, another dangerous. could be a tough game. Uh, you know, Larry Brown's done a good job there. He's got those guys playing inspired basketball. They had some good early on non-conference wins. So uh, we're going to have to come in here and play. They're going to mix defenses up, make us think. We're going to see, you know, some different athletes. Uh, this will be a different game than tonight. It'll be more of a physical, grind-out, tough uh, banging game than it will be space you out with five guys uh, tonight and you know Keith had to play a lot on the perimeter tonight Mark which I think took the energy out of him he had to, to play out there switching uh, which we tried to disrupt their offense. Congrats coach the win thanks for coming out. Thanks Mark. Donnie Jones sharing some thoughts with us UCF wins it by a score of 78 to 67 Tristan Spurlock's going to sit down and uh, chat with us a double double for Tristan tonight 14 points 
and a 12 rebounds uh, for Spurlock in the basketball game. As the Knights get the 11 point win again, three and one now in a conference play and 13 and five uh, overall. Kind of a weird game at times, wasn't it tonight? You guys couldn't pull away from them. They kept finding a shot to get back in the game. It was a odd game, but nonetheless, you got the win. Yeah, we're just uh, glad we got the win. First of all, I just want to thank God for letting us be able to come out and play another game. But uh, it was it was a conference game, you know, and um, a lot of conference games are going to be scrappy. They'll be ugly. UAB was really ugly. Um, you know, ECU, Houston was real, real shaky. But, uh, you know, they did the best job I've ever seen a team do in the last three years I've been here on, uh, on Keith. You know, he was really working his butt off down low. They were coming to... You know, it seemed like there was always somebody around him, touching him, um, trying to, you know, hit the ball from his hand. But um, uh, Calvin and uh, Isaiah stepped up. I stepped up, and I felt like we uh, we kind of carried the load for a little bit offensively. You can guess what they may do to Keith, and then you watch the game, and it was interesting. Their double team came with even a 5'9 point guard because yeah. of his hands to not get away. But can you tell early, hey, we have to adjust because right. they're doing something to take Keith away. Uh, does that go through your mind and the team's mind when you see that early on in the game? It did. Um, you know, we tried to – you try to plan for it in practice. You try to um, simulate that. But it's nothing like teams who work on that, you know, all year. And, you know, they they came. And um, at halftime, we made some adjustments. Uh, a lot of the, uh, the walk-ons who were watching told me that, you know, when we cut, that we had to stay a little bit longer because it was open, you know, initially. But, you know, just stay a little bit longer, you know, post up a little bit harder. And I think in the second half we did that. Um, yeah, tie game of the half. You had only two points. Right. And coach said he spoke to you at the half and said just get out there and start playing more and then you scored seven points in three and a half minutes what did you do differently in the second half i think i, wa I wanted it more um you know in the first half i was kind of cutting just to cut in the second half i was i was going to places and demanding the ball you know like telling them throw me the ball and every time i took it i wanted to dunk everything i didn't want to lay anything up I, in the first half i had a couple i dribbled and the little guards got down there and reached and smacked a couple and, and then after that um coming out in halftime i know rod uh days told me he said you just got to dunk the ball everything dunk everything and and every time I caught it down low, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to catch, go up, and dunk. It hasn't. I mean, even though you're playing more minutes of the four, your role still really hasn't changed. You'll take the outside shot, but it's here to be athletic. But you, you're starting to get more double-digit rebound games. And, you know, I've even joked with you that you should walk out and sleepwalk to eight, nine rebounds. And tonight you get for 14 and 12. And yet I felt that can be kind of a normal game for you right. when it comes to rebounding because of your athletic ability at six offensive boards tonight. Yeah, that's one thing uh, I – I've uh, noticed lately just feeling, you know, 100% healthy. I can go out there and just, you know, use my athletic ability and get a couple loose balls here and there. But, you know, I'm doing a better job boxing out. I'm doing a better job at the four, you know, being able to just move guys a little bit better and really just being aggressive and going to get it. But, you know, this has got to continue. we got a tough one Saturday. we just got to make sure we uh, come and be ready for it.